2016. Bang! Here we are. And normally at the beginning of the year, people start thinking, well, what's my resolution? You know, what am I going to do this year? And, you know, I think sometimes change is good and developing myself is good. Like, how do I want to be better this year? One of the things that I would encourage people to consider is maybe this year looking for creative or different ways to be an asset in my client's buying experience or be an asset to the people who buy from us. Now, I know people think, well, I am an asset, Gavin, you know, I do a great job, you know, my intention is to help. But our intention doesn't always get read in the same way as we expect it to. Sometimes the things that we do don't actually translate from the client's perspective and clients will often look at us and think, well, why would you do something that I can do myself? And that's just it. Like if I want to add value to my client's experience, I can't just assume that I am. I have to sort of turn the tables and go, well, what is it that you can do for yourself and what does it feel like to be my customer? If we think about it from us being a consumer, like I always think, like in the, be the best place to start is what does it feel like to be on the other end? And as a consumer, we do judge the person that is uh, delivering service as to whether we think that they are adding value to experience or whether they are mm, adding to my time problem. So if we think about maybe just buying a shirt, so I go into a shop and I start having a look around by myself and then I find a shirt that I like and you know, I'll quickly flick through and see if I can find my size and, and when I can't, if I then go to the, the salesperson and say, sorry, do you have this shirt that I'm looking for in an extra large? If they then walk across and start looking through the rack that you had just done only minutes ago, do you think to yourself, oh, wow, they are really helping? Or do you think, What's wrong with you? Like, why would you do this? Like, why wouldn't you check the computer first or go at the back? Like, didn't you see me? I came from the rack. And that's because we do, we are all, I think, quick to judge as to whether this service does add value to my experience or whether this person looks like they are wasting my time. Now, if I ask the person at the shop, like, you know, do you think you helped? I can 100% guarantee they'll go, yeah, yeah, I actually wanted to help them find the shirt. But their habits or their actions didn't actually mirror to the customer that I'm adding value to your experience. So to start thinking about being an asset this year, the things that we need to consider are, what can people do themselves? Like, what can my customer do before they come in? Obviously, not everybody's going to do that, but I need to understand what elements they can do themselves. If I'm going to be asking them questions, what questions might they have already been asked from maybe your online competitor or from competitors that they might have gone into? And if I'm going to ask questions, I should try and steer away from those run-of-the-mill questions because for them, this is a, a repeated experience and it's not adding value, even though your intention is. So what can I ask that is different or outside? What are some creative ways that I can promote what I do differently? Like what are the things that I bring to the table and how do I make sure I showcase those early on so that people can really truly see what my intention is. Whatever it is, I want 2016 to be an awesome year for everyone and if you have any questions about ways that you can add value or if there are some things that you're unsure about, feel free to contact us at Iridian. Uh, the website is www.iridian.com.au or you're welcome to email us, our contact details are on there and I look forward to you having an awesome 2016. See you later.